neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. More than Illinois' offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. And he gets a yard on the run. That brings us second and nine. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on their own 21. He throws a dart to the left. Interception. Tackle made at the 46. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. He put a little bit too much mustard on that throw and it got away from him. It's second and 10, ball on the 46. At around the 50. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run. But they need to be careful of the play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in into the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. He gets it away and this is a really nice punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. He steps out at the 24-yard line. He's taken down. 39. He kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 39. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes at about the 47 yard line. Awesome running here on third down. That can bring a lot of confidence to an offense when they can pull that off so successfully. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. And he's tackled at about the 45. He 
gets to about the 27-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. He laterals. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That's a deep He's tackled in the open field. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. Tenth play of the drive. Brought down around the 11 yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. He's scrambling. And they make the stop at the two. Touchdown, Huskies. No need to pitch it as the quarterback's able to run it in. I'll tell you what, when you're a quarterback and the goal line is right there, it's pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. And he hits the PAT. So a 13-play, 81-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, this offensive line has done a really good job, but really, I think it's more about the big play ability from the running backs and why we've seen so many big plays from this offense. And he got all of this one. Great kick. They'll bring him down at the 28. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. First and 10, ball on the 39-yard line. that quickly incomplete. He had to get rid of that one in a hurry. The defensive coordinator cooked up a good blitz package that time, and although it didn't result in a sack, it forced a bad throw. Comes it out left. He's got the fullback. He's tackled around the 47-yard line. First and 10. Ball in the 47. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 40. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. the 37-yard line. First down. Here we go. Pressure coming. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down around the 21-yard line. down 10 yards to go ball on the 21 yard line and he's taken down at the 11 yard line he caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10 yard gain and this is the eighth play of the drive And that 
sets them up for the first and goal. First and goal, and if they can execute, we'll be all tied up. The Hurricanes running back sidelined earlier with that injury. Right now, though, it looks like he's uh, warming up, trying to get back in the ball game. Pick up of a yard to the tailback. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Huskies lead 7-0. to the action now here in the second quarter. 117, 117. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Tackle made right around the two-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. This is the 11th play of this drive. He's scrambling, and he hits him hard at the three-yard line. This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. Miami lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Northern Illinois holds a four-point lead. Makes it out to about the 39. They try the right side. He's at midfield. He's at the 40, and he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Good outside run there. That's a game of four run play. That makes it second and six. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Gets to about the 14 yard line. He makes his way out to about the six. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. second time today. You know, this quarterback continues to score touchdowns, and you can see how happy this makes his offensive lineman. A running quarterback and a quarterback scoring touchdowns with his legs takes a lot of pressure off the big boys up front. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. 
So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Once and all, going deep. The Huskies running back taken out earlier, sidelined without injury. However, it looks like he's going to be able to come back in this game. That's a great tackle at the 49-yard line. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. From the 49-yard line, first down. Up the middle for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. his man first down and he tackles him hard at the 19 yard line from the 19 yard line it's first down First and goal. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. That brings up a second and goal. All on the five-yard line. Touchdown, Hurricanes! Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Miami to kick. From his own goal line, got the corner, out of bounds at the 23-yard line. The Huskies over the years have had great quarterbacks. They've got another one. He's proving to be that here in the first half, and he's the true leader of this group right now. Leadership. You, you hit the nail right on the head. This team is, is moving the football, but it has everything to do with this young man and what he's been able to do for them. Because, it's again, he's making great throws. Uh, he's, he's making good checks at the line of scrimmage. But the thing that's standing out to me is his leadership and the way this team responds to that leadership. And that's why this team right now has played as well as they have. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Northern Illinois is up four. There's a fumble. It's scooped up. Tackle around the 34-yard line. And that's a very heads-up play by the defensive end to jump on that fumble. Here's a great job of the defense there to take advantage of the mistake and cause that turnover. I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there where they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. Got his back, but he can't hang on. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on 34. Quick pass. Knocked out of bounds at the 22. Here we go. 
There's a strike complete. Nice play to set up first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They'll give it off here. And he stopped behind the line. Loss of one there for the halfback. Great penetration into the backfield. And that was just a great hit to finish off the play. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. Touchdown, Miami! Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he adds the extra point. A five-play, 35-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He really got a hold of that kick. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Northern Illinois has gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen, but... I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen with his teammates, the rest of this group. They've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38. He's going to try and scramble. The quarterback has some room, and he is drilled at the 49. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He wants it all. And he stays in bounds to make the catch. First down. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. The 10. Nice run up the middle. Throws it in a hurry. He gets hit out of bounds at about the five-yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Five wide. He's on the run, looking for the corner. Nice move, and he scores. Pushed by the line in a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. And he converts the extra point. The return team looks ready to go. They need to take this one all the way in order to lead at the half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Hand off inside. They go to the left for a nice game. Wow, what an offensive display by both teams in the first half. 21-17, Northern Illinois. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. 
What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's 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 living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen on the big 60 inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit, but great game living up to the height it definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched it feels like it can go either way it feels like it's going to come down to the wire and the only thing i hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker please don't come down to a kick in the end both these teams playing great d playing great o you know physical you know pounding on each other making big plays don't come down to a finesse kick by like a soccer player please just about time to start the second half what, what do you think herb street's first point of analysis will be uh i don't know something to do with quarterback play i'm sure i mean, always got to hear that stuff all the time it's all about the quarterbacks brad and kirk ready for the second half great first half and a tight time. ball game and we're set to start quarter number three and he got all of this one great kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. That's a beautiful from their own 28-yard line. Second down. And they push him out around the 37-yard line. Six-yard line. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Quick throw. He's knocked out of bounds at the 46. Keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. They caught the quarterback by surprise. Well, that's a great call by the defensive coordinator. They send him off the corner, and he just uses his speed to get the sack. Fourth and long here after the sack. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. the corner he'll take it from the 18 he makes it to the 32 yard line they are ready to begin another drive northern illinois is up by four now he's scrambling brought down in the open field Yeah. 
caught with room to work. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 49. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Got it and brought down immediately. Now he tries to buy some time. Excellent open field tackle. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll bring up 32. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. He makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. He knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The Husky staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. He gets rid of this one. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Here we go. Catches it, and he's looking for more. They'll bring him down at about the 23-yard line. That makes it 37. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 23. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And he's tackled at about the 31. And they got him. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. It's second and 12. Ball on the 28-yard line. quickly and he's got his man and they make the stop around the 44 yard line we've got a first and 10 ball in their own 44 Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's a game of four. That makes it second and six. Right, right, right. Four down, four down. Hey, check by 45. Check by 45. Set. They go back to him on a quick throw. Big opening. And he's taken down at about the 41. And this play is number eight on the drive. So at the end of the third quarter, Northern Illinois leads 21-17. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Down at the 32 yard line. 
Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Runs outside for a nice game. That makes it second and six. From the 20-yard line, it's second down. run there as they work the outside this is the 12th play of this drive tackle made at about the nine yard line it's first and goal and they need a touchdown the extra point he makes the PAT Miami to kick he just drills this one he's to the 20 he gets out to about the 22 yard line Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Scrambling around. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Decides to slide. Around the 41-yard line. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Less than three minutes in the game. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's at the 20, and down he goes at the 13. That makes it first and ten. Run play, and he'll lose yards. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get up field more than south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened. He's in! Touchdown! And they take the lead. as pretty an option play as you'll ever see. It took all fall practice for the quarterback and the halfback to get their timing down. Man, do they look good now. And he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He scrambled. 
He's taken down to the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line. First down. Under heavy pressure, and he's going to be sacked. Just under two minutes in the game. He's hit and taken down. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Nice run there. You know, this offense is doing what they need to do to be able to put themselves in a position to either tie the game or maybe win the football game. But what about on the other side? Who's going to make a play for the defense? Who wants to win this game? A lot of times, an individual on that side of the football can determine the outcome of the game. Under pressure. Fumble, loose ball. The defense falls on it. And that fumble is going to cost them. Uh, at this stage in the game, the number one rule has to be to hold on to the football. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After review the play, the rule on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. He's scrambling. Got an opening. They'll bring him down at the 32. The Hurricanes will use their first time out of the half. From the 32-yard line, it's first down. We have less than a minute to go. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's tackled right around the 22-yard line. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Offense. Little stumbles like these can Still kill your offensive progress. So the penalty will make it first and 15. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. Gets it out quickly. He's at the 20, and they make the stop right around the 14-yard line. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the one. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Across midfield. 
And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. More than Illinois, coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. Quick throw. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. Excellent execution on one side of the ball that time. And it looks to me like the defense was in a little state of confusion. Let's see if they can pull themselves together. Touchdown, and now they're in front. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And with time winding down, they probably won't let this return man feel the ball. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. For Northern Illinois, their pass rush has really been impressive today, Kirk. Good pass rush by these guys today. This defense is still feeling the pressure of the passing game. Well, they are running it pretty well, so that wouldn't be a bad thing. You take the yards however you can get them. The defense will look to close it out right here. Well, this is the chance. Late in the fourth quarter, they're behind, but they've got an opportunity now to come back and win it. He airs it out. Pulls it in, and he could score. They've done it. I can't believe it. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he adds the extra point. Well, folks, do you think we can see another Cal Stanford? They need to return this all the way to win it. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. have to look at this somehow as a positive. Their star player had a great game. They just got to look the next week. Yeah, it's tough anytime you lose a game to be positive, but if there is anything to be positive about, it's about that performance by this individual. He, he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, the team ends up losing, but they can't build to the future around his abilities for sure. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street. this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.